Good morning, this is Jack. There's this Rotor Genie 2. Rotor Genie 2 with a slightly revised circuit to give better performance. So I wanted to show that to you right away. Let's fire it up, get the little 6 watt light bulb going. And so it's going to cruise on up to 4000 RPM with the um, rotor being driven by the rodent coil and a hall sensor trigger. And then it's being, um, and this is the generator part with the uh, regular coil, 1800 feet um, regular coil. Lights up the light bulb uh, nicely. In addition, I ran it through a bridge rectifier. I'm charging this capacitor here up to, right now, 100 volts. But it'll charge up even higher when I take the load off the bulb. So, now also you can see on the scope that I have, this is uh, 4 milliseconds per division. And it's cruising along about 4000 RPM. Um, which is um, the calculation, of course, is is fairly straightforward. It's um, 100, uh, 70 hertz or 70 rotations per second times 60, which is around 4,000. So then you can see this thing. Once I uh, take off the load uh, for the bulb, it spins, it revs up, which is what I wanted to show. And uh, on the scope here, you can see our measurement is roughly, turn the spikes, 4 milliseconds, we have uh, 167, so that's uh, 167 times 60, that's 10,000 RPM, which is kind of what I was shooting for, so the sucker is going 10,000 RPM and I'll charge the capacitor to 248 volts. <laughs> oh boy. So I listen to that baby gold. And then uh, it's a. Uh, the thing is really revved up. Let's go. And to show you that we captured some energy here, uh, and it should go out with a bang, uh, here you go. Okay, thanks everybody.